something else in their class instead of doing what they're meant to be doing. I don't skip class. I try to be respectful and up to date. But I don't know, if somebody wants to go first, I can... I can sit but... patiently. But if not, not then... Then probably during lunch break, I... I know that I, uh, when we are like at meeting with March, I like freely offered like my PDA number or whatever, so I can contact people. I don't know yeah. if they mm -hmm. took it. So yeah, basically, I I'm I'm wondering. Uh, I'm probably gonna try and message Himeko to ask like, hey, you know, it's lunchtime. I don't have anything else to do, or more important at this moment. And you mentioned, or I remember, a um, guy named Shin came up, and I can meet him now during lunch break, if I if I may. So this is the reason why Himiko never goes to school. <laughs> Am I still here? Yes, yes, you're still here. The silence makes me feel like disconnected oh. every time. Oh, sorry, my mic was muted. I just didn't got the reference, or not reference, but like, mm, okay, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. You wouldn't. It's fine, don't worry. I'll ask. Red cons. I like muted. Fuck. Alright, so if the sin, if you are gonna do the sin thing, let's do that last because that might actually be something. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> might actually be something. Yeah, no problem. Yes. No problem. One of the one of the echoes in the past. Anyway, so what's Akira Ryu Rio doing? Uh, I'd like Akira would want to actually uh, look for Katsumi. Just gotta ask her something. Oh, that's an odd combination. Yeah. All right. It's not like they've never spoken before. Come on, man. So there's two ways you can do that. It's two ways. Yeah. Well, technically, there's three ways. There's three ways. All right. The first way is that you go on a bizarre adventure and try to look for her. The second is you call her or you call Naomi. What the fuck would... Oh, right. I mean, dude, I don't think Akira's aware of that, so uh, she'd probably just call her. Oh, no, I get... Fuck it. Bizarre adventure. I don't care if I don't find her. Bizarre adventures are always fun. Let's go on right. those. So what does uh, what does Rio and Ryu want to do? Uh, go to the uh, student council room, see if there's any work for him to do. And if not, then, well, if so, do the work so that he can have it out of the way. Because, you know, the meeting's Saturday, but he'll probably be busy for most of the rest of the week. And if not, go continue researching. Hi, and what does Ryu want to do? I'm going to go with random. Oh, hi. Let's go with Ryu first. So, you'll go to the student council room. And... Ugh! Alright, good. So you go to the student council room and uh, you'll go to your pigeonhole. There's uh, there's some notes stuffed in there. And uh, you'll see there's a person in the corner of the room. Alright, start working on the notes. Who's you'll the person? An intense glare. Uh huh, who's the person? Your favourite. Oh. Uh, keep working on the stuff. <laughs> All right. that knowledge. So it's some, um, uh, it's some forwarded work about uh, managing uh, the recent flow of sponsorships for the school right. and events to advertise said sponsorships. Right, right, right. Of course, busy work. Well, yes. So you'll be you'll be arranging them into the recommended areas, and you'll have like a list of people say we need money, and mm -hmm. then you you decide if you want to give them money or if you want to put it elsewhere. All right. 
That's and the spon- and these uh, sponsorships are sports related. Oh, okay. So you decide which 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 sport needs the most money, which you can tell you can you can use the free air around you. Yeah, use the free stuff around you. Well, obviously, you know, like like soccer doesn't need much; it just needs the ball. Clearly. No. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. all the money into the e sports time. <laughs> all right. We need no so, hard drives. Fuck. And you. All right. So I guess this would be like a combination of knowledge and understanding. Oh, okay. Knowledge and understanding. Knowledge is for how well you do it. And understanding is for whether you think like maybe these guys need a bit extra. Right. Um, I want the first one to be high and the second one to be low. That would be the best case scenario. I expect both are low. <laughs> That's fucking great. You're Nothing very... You sense. are fucking ruthless. You efficiently <laughs> allocate the money down to the single pennies. There is no bleedage whatsoever. No. Not. In fact, there is a good forecast for uh, making more money off the money yeah. with, your, with the way that you put things down. But the poor clubs got poorer and the rich clubs got richer. Hey, hey, hey. The poor clubs didn't get poorer. They just didn't get any extra. <laughs> All right. They feel Rio they- Trump. <laughs> Look, we there have you to- go. Before we can just give donations away. <laughs> All right. Do you put these into into Nalco's pigeonhole, or do you just do, you do them elsewhere? Look, I are, I got recognition that time. I'm not going to be an idiot and do it twice in a row. She can have credit for this. All right. We we'll put it in Nalco's pigeonhole. <laughs> yeah, better for her, her to take the blame for it. Yes. Remember the last time clubs were underfunded? It was like, nah, we can handle this. Also, I mean, remember, the arts club got the entire, um, was it, sponsor the, you know, re beautify the city off of that, so come on. Total mm-hmm. success. Some people just have to use their bodies for their sport. They don't need anything else. <laughs> Dancers don't need equipment. Come on. Why would they need to buy uniforms? We have a fashion club. (laughs) Alright. So, uh, you you hear some mumbling from the corner. (sighs) I'm going to roll understanding again. Alright. Have some free oh. time, I take it. This is, uh, oh, you've, you've acknowledged me this time. Well, mostly when I come in here, I assume people are doing something and don't want to be disturbed. I know that's how I am. Well, well yes, yes, I do have work to do. So much work. That's what I was put here to do, work. Not complaining about it, I hope. Oh, no, no, without it, I would be a nobody. Right. Mm. So you did your work. Well, I see. I did it as best it can be arranged. Mm. Can I ask you a question? I suppose. Do you enjoy being a subordinate of the setters? Subordinate. Hmm. Well, I have to say that I do enjoy the fact that I'm at least given the trust to work on things like I have just have. But no, I don't really see getting much enjoyment out of working under someone for the rest of my school time here. Ah, so you do have some ambition. Some ambition. I would thought that you. After after the little mess, you'd be caught up in the tangle of the trio. 
dot 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 remembers what Ayumi said. All right, she's crazy because she sees things. Right. What trio? Hmm. Hmm. Well, there are three people, three people that you you are you're involved with, and uh, and apart from the mute one, you seem to not get along with the the other two. Mm. Especially the 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 male. Right. Oh yes, Tomomi Tomomi seems. Quite capable. I have no problems with her. She'll just uh, she'll just adjust her glasses, and since you're fairly close, usually these glasses are fucking thick. Like she, mm-hmm. like you wonder how the hell she can see out of them. They're like I don't like huge foggy, like chunky, like heavy things. Like how does that sit on her face? Kind of mm-hmm. feel. Mhm. Good. And uh, she'll be like. Uh, so, so you, you wish to step above them? Then they are—they are the newest, after all. They shouldn't be too much of a problem if 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 it's not a fluke. Dot dot dot. Right. Well, school politics are one thing, but well, I don't see how you mean step above them. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps it it is just the body and not the mind. Shame, shame that that, that even that wasn't that wasn't too. It's not that well developed anyway. Mm. We, we should probably take what we can get considering the political climate. I hope it doesn't matter anyway. Like say? Hmm? Do you have something you'd like to say? <clears throat> I'm afraid it will be something you'd only truly understand if you if you if you read the basics. I can't read you a book if you don't know how to, if you don't know the basic foundations of the alphabet. Mm, everyone's so passive aggressive with Rio. What is this? Ah, <laughs> you just want to be with him. Look at that guy. That's just, that face just screams, haha, fuck with him. Right. Well, Rio's just gonna stare for a moment and then go, Well, I see. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm. Mm. Well, mm. Mm. so, deal, I can, I can bring you up a deal, if you'll be interested in it. I don't wish to burn myself to keep you warm. I'm not interested in taking deals without knowing what the terms are, at the very least. Terms, terms. Well, well, I guess this leads back to my question. Uh, do you enjoy being led or being a leader? Mm. Well, if it's a choice between the two, I would have to say that I'd rather be the leader. At least that way I know what's happening. Hmm. And let's say that there is a gl- uh, you you rise under the glorious sun that dawns our land. Uh, mm, I'm assu- I'm assu- if uh, if you were to come into great fortune, would you share it with others, or would you keep the hoard to yourself? <sighs> There's no point taking more than I need for myself if it can be arranged most efficiently in others. Hmm. Hmm. That kind of response would be good in, for the general populace. Mm. Mm. <sighs> she'll just she'll just sigh and she'll say, uh, "I know what you think. It, it's a curse of mine, but I know what you think. I am not the most well balanced. The the voices, the yeah, uh, I I can only turn them off sometime. But uh, believe you me, I'm the I'm the most knowledgeable person that you'll ever know. And considering our connection to one another you'll be you'll be well served to uh, do me to do me by right I have no intention of doing by wrong to anyone who doesn't do wrong to me 
But to do right with someone, well, I would naturally do that if it was capable of me. But, of course, as I have said, if it is inefficient to do so, I will have to elevate my station first. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Right. Uh, hmm. I suppose you'll need something in order to trust me, Liv. Trust is a bit tricky like that, yes. Hmm. You're not close with the priest girl, so this might be harder than you, than I expect. Uh, 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 you can uh, you can trust you can trust the 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 dark elephant, can't you? I can trust him in a way, yes. Right, right. Well, I'll offer you this olive branch because. To be honest, uh, having a having a position that will elevate me from the black sheep of my family would do me better than it is right now. And to be frank, my if I if I don't get anything from this, I just fade away into obscurity, which I'd rather not want. So, so uh, I'll I'll give you this. I'll give you this. So tell tell the tell the Takinaka that. Uh, that uh, you should ask the priest girl about uh, blood reading. You should all go, yes, it'll be good for you all. It'll give you some perspective, yes. When you go to this reading, you'll be told that there is nothing special about you. Then, if that is done, you'll come back to me, and then you'll believe me, right? <sighs> well, I suppose if everything plays out the way that you said, I'll have no choice but to believe you know something. Right. Whether you tell me what you know... That's a question for after I've decided how much to trust you. Right, we we both have reasons to be defensive, after all. Then I come from a place that most people will never get to, and for them, honestly, it is a blessing. But if you can do this, then you'll at least know that I am more than just a crazy cat woman. Hmm, right. I did not take you for a cat person. It's a term that people use for, you know, women ah, that are unhinged. Of course. Sorry oh. for the ticks. Mm. It's fine. Mm. Very well, I'll tell Ryu that. Good. Good. It might take a while, but... But he does have a connection to her, though it would be quite amusing if he does actually taint the duty. That'd be that would be quite interesting. But anyway, anyway, I suppose you'll be off to to find out this uh, to the demon. That would be one way to exercise your might. I wish you good luck in that. Mm. Right. Thank you. And he's going to back away. He's done. He's going to leave for his lunch. Have a nice day, then, my. Alright, so well, when you leave, leave a walk. So when you leave, you kind of hear like an audible click and then like a. <sighs> like a weight has been lifted off her shoulders. Uh huh. Hey, well, lunch. Go. That was fun. Let's see what someone else is doing. All right. So, Akira. Hi. Yeah. What's up, dude? You gonna go on a mystical adventure? Hell yeah. The fates decide me what's gonna happen. Feel free to make it nothing. All right. So as soon as you, uh, as soon as you finish up class, you step outside and you see Katsumi. Cool. Yay! Best it rolled. adventure. <laughs> I rolled a ten. Yeah. The twists, Hello. the turns, the plot twists. <laughs> the struggle, the emotion. Oh, oh. oh that's, uh, that story. That's convenient. 
Hey, cat. Oh, hey, uh, Kazinaya san. She'll, she'll, she'll nod her head in, in recognition. Cool. Cool. I was uh, just looking for you, actually. Uh, are you busy? Mm, no. No. I was just going to sit by the garden and, and ponder. Like meditate stuff? Mm, quasi. If you go into full meditative state, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd fear I'd miss the rest of class. An hour is nearly not enough. Oh, man. That sounds great. You gotta uh, teach me how to do that better. Anyway, yeah, so I don't need you for, like, anything. We can still go there. I just need to talk with you. Uh, certainly. Says, uh, I'm surprised that I don't see uh, Suzuka hanging off your arm. Uh, do you normally see that? Oh, well. Yeah, well, it's a trope. Everybody sees that. <laughs> you mean she's able to see it? Akira told her about it. Technical problems again. I suggest yeah, she's more than likely already. Woo! Ah. Oh well. It happens. This is to be expected, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. This is like, as would have you it's... said, not a big surprise. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, I fucking love those characters. I love the fact that it's like everybody else sees the relationships before the characters. Oh, hey man! Oh yeah. Akira's moving in there. She just doesn't know. Everyone's fucking teasing her. Everyone's I mean, mean, this is one of the very basics of every shonen anime, that everybody every can see that. And protagonist is dense like a fucking black hole. Hey man, Kira's trying to get in there. Suzuka's a fucking puzzle piece, don't you... It's fucking difficult, man, I don't want to She's like it. a jigsaw, I want to play a game. Well, <laughs> also don't forget, every couple of months she basically radically changes her personality, so you gotta work all over again. I know! <laughs> it's hard! That's why she's cool! Fucking multiple personality... ...reading... Shizuka Fujikage? Yeah, it's not like real yeah. multiple personality, but it's a, it's how her power works, so it kind of fucks with her a, a bit... ...canonically. She well, she, she has the look. Yeah, she basically sees alternate realities, to a degree. So... That's a little fun. <laughs> Anyway, welcome back. Yeah, but also the story is we reset her every couple of months, too. Oh, yeah, also she got mind fucked at one point. Anyway. <laughs> so she willingly asked for it, we later found out. <laughs> What's up, Jeff? Nice. Uh, so I guess you'll go to the garden then. <laughs> oh, damn, yeah. Fuck it. Alright. So, yeah, they head over. Ah. Uh, you're trying to uh, steer topic. Uh, not from that exact direction, but, uh, I mean, uh, speaking of her, I did actually have something I kind of wanted to ask you. Oh. Hmm. It's, uh, like, how should I say? I mean, I'm not sure if you know anything about it, but, uh, just recently I've kind of been doing a little, uh, research about uh some of the really old people of japan mm -hmm. yeah i knew right do you uh is there anything that is like relevant to them right now in the current like hierarchy of all the families you're asking about the families kind of yeah Mm, I see that you do talk amongst your peers when it comes to that kind of thing. Is it impolite? Mm, well, well, uh, 
I'm, you may laugh at it, but I am considered one of the progressives. Holy shit. Uh, yes. No offense. Sorry. Well, I'm not exactly on the uh, anarchist level, but uh, I do not mind talking about our history with people who are not within the fold, so to say. Yeah, that makes sense. You're really cool about it. All right. But uh, you wish to know about Suzuki's heritage? A little bit. Uh, oh. I kind of got a... Someone told me it was probably important, and, uh, you know, I'd like to know if it's going to be something that, you know, would be good to know. So, so she will just sip her tea, and she'll be like, uh, well, that's something that's eluded even my father, but you said that somebody told you? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if they wanted to remain anonymous on it, or if they'd realized that that would be something they might want to be. Uh, hmm. I guess this, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's this mystery priestess that, uh, that Takinaka mentioned. Mystery priestess? Hmm. Somebody who knows a lot about these things, but yet us as a family, that hasn't come up on our radar. Uh, no, not a priestess. Uh, mm. So it's more than just one person with this kind of knowledge. All right. I, I didn't know about a priestess, sorry. Uh. Well, that's just one question to add to the textbook of questions. <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to stack more on your plate. Oh no, oh no. It's just simply a reminder that we're not as enclosed as we think we are. I mean, most secrets we all have are kind of there for a reason, right? Hmm. You kind of can't just tell everyone everything and expect it all to work out. Hmm, but yet uh, this mystery person knew more about Suzuka than years of our trying to piece together the thread. Mm. Mm. Well, I could give you a little hint, or just tell you because I don't think telling you would be dangerous, but... When it comes, when it comes to these matters, I'd rather it not be a game where I need hints. You either tell me outright or, or leave it underneath the ocean. I'll tell you. Be confidentiality, though, of course. Just in case. Confidentiality? Uh, you know, just keep it kind of to yourself for now, maybe? I'm afraid I won't be able to commit to that. If it's, if it's something to do with Suzuka and something that uh, we haven't had the ability to do so, then it would be in our benefit to at least ask this person ourselves as to, well, my father would never admit that we are astray, but for my own benefit it might help. And she'll just, uh, she'll, she'll take another drink. Mm. Let me, can I say that I'll ask them real quick? Mm. If that will make you feel better. I wouldn't want to do it without their knowledge. And she'll uh, just text Shin. Hey, Shin! Is he awake? Mm, Shin. It will ring for like a couple minutes and then... Oh, well, not ring. Yeah. Like, it will sit for a couple minutes. And then you'll just kind of see this, like... Like, hello, that is slurred with smiley faces. Oh, God. Uh, would it be a bad idea to tell Katsumi about what you told me? She might, people might come asking you questions, and I don't know if you want that. Hmm. You'll, you'll just say, you'll just send a back. A bit of garbled back. You cannot. It's literally garble. I'm. I'm guessing he's high on medicine. <laughs> At least it sounds like. God, 
he's different, and we'll leave it yeah. at that. <laughs> you Does will find how, out. Does he know how to operate a phone? She'll just kind of be like, one, one sec, and walk across the garden <laughs> and call, try calling him. Alright. Alright. So it'll ring for a couple minutes. He'll pick up. Hello, Sim? You'll just hear the point. You'll, you'll just click the button so it's speakerphone. And you'll be like, hello? Are you there? You okay? I'm here. Are you there? Is now a bad time? N- there's never a bad time until the end. Jeez. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, so I wanted to run something by you. Uh, do you, are you okay with, uh, Katsumi knowing what you told me? He says, he'll say that you can tell whoever you want. My fate is in your hands. I'm not going to silence you or tell you not to do things because the whole point is that you can do whatever you want and I'm not going to tell you otherwise. Yeah, but you can have an opinion, right? Mm. My opinion is that you guys are really special and I don't care about anybody else. Okay, buddy. Uh, well, you get some rest. <laughs> oh, uh, you feeling okay? Mm. Mm, just the same as every day. All right, well, I probably won't... I'm kind of busy today, but I'll stop by one of these days again. Okay? All right. All right. Get, get some sleep. If that's what you want me to do, all right. Oh, okay, bye. Bye. So, hang up and walk back. Yeah, I, um... I hope you're not offended by me saying that I'm worried about saying who told me. It's nothing bad, it's simply just, I don't know what the implications of this would be. Mm. Well, I suppose so, considering it, it seems to be a quite well, well tight secret. Kinda, I just worry about, you know, when you've got like such a, weird situation and you don't know what people will do it's kind of like I just want to make sure everyone's okay I'll work with the knowledge I have and share it with you though but I can't tell you where I'm getting it exactly Mm -hmm. uh, probably don't want to actually tell Shizuka right now well, I'm not a fan of hand-me-downs, but uh, since this is a matter about Suzuka, I'll tell you what I know. Hey, it's not much of a hand-me-down if it's the best I've got. It's like sharing knowledge. Mm. <laughs> mm. So what is it that you wish to know about her heritage? You've well, pinpointed it? Well, I mean... I tried to do some, get some cursory knowledge before I asked you, but, I mean, I've mostly just learned about the people a little bit, but I figure if it dated back that long, there's probably some important um, families or lines or something like that. I mean, there's got to be some old stuff like that. They're the first culture, right? Here, at least. Mm, Well... Well, it is true that in the history books, the Ainu are one of the first cultures that have been recorded. But uh, I'm assuming you've come to me because you wanted more than just a textbook, aren't you? And and you are sure that uh, that she she stems from these. I have little reason to doubt my uh, informant. Yeah. Well. Well, as you can imagine, that there isn't much about the Ainu since they they weave their tails.